And what will happen is when I click that, it's going to run this code really quick and open the URLs. So let's get with it. And it opens these URLs really quick. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Tronics channel. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening URLs in Chrome with Excel VBA. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share it, and all that good stuff so that we make sure that we're getting out there and satisfying the algorithm. Um, without further ado, what I have for us is a new Excel window here. And what we're going to do is we're going to build the code for the link opener. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a new sheet, link workbook, and I'm going to delete the sheets that we don't need right off the bat. I'm going to name this sheet raw data, leave it like that, and then I want to uh, put in the URLs that I want to open. They're just a couple of YouTube URLs. A couple of things that we're going to need is we're going to need developer tab. And if you don't know how to do your developer tab, you know, it's in your options and your customize your ribbon. And then you have developer checked. Usually it's unchecked by default. So let's go forward here. So we're going to get with our macros. Don't have nothing yet. Going to get with Visual Basic. We have our sheet. We have this workbook. And we're going to need to answer a module. Keep it real simple like that. The code will be written on a module. Before I even go forward, forward with this I'm gonna save this as a macro enabled workbook in a safe location so put it here link opener one point L and we're gonna save it as a macro enabled workbook right off the bat. Okay. So getting into this we're gonna start by declaring our va uh, variables. We're gonna start by declaring our variable. So I'm gonna go to our visual basic screen and uh, basically there's going to be a number of variables that I'm going to declare, and I'll explain what they are as I go. All right, so we're going to call this open URL. We need to declare the Chrome location as a string. That's going to be the location where, we, uh, where Chrome is located on the system. We're going to declare my URL as a string. My URL is going to be generated from those list of URLs that I just listed earlier in the uh, video. And then we're going to need I as an integer. That's going to count the rows that we need to be dealing with in this code. We're going to declare WS1 as the worksheet. And we need to declare the last row as long. So we need to know what the last row is. So that's what declaring all our variables are. And I just want to, you know, talk about that a minute by looking at the slide. When declaring variables, you usually use a dem statement. A declaration statement can be placed within a procedure to create a procedure level variable, or it may be placed at the top of the module in the declaration section to create a module level variable. So that's what I have going on. 
OK. And that will satisfy our variables. It should like select range A1. What that does for us, I don't know. It's something I might consider removing, but it works. All right, so now we need our last row statement. And what we're doing about our last row statement is we're going to be finding the last row. It is critical in this macro that we are aware uh, finding the last row. It is critical that the macro is aware of the last row that contains data. This ensures that it opens all the list of URLs and provides a result to our variable. So I'm going to get ready to declare the last row. And I'll explain what the last row is. All right, within our code, the last row, basically, it's going to be cells, find, anything, the asterisk, by rows, search, Excel previous, dot row. Okay. And then we're going to declare our worksheet. I'm going to hurry up and do that while we're at it. We're going to set. the worksheet equal the sheets raw data which is right there everything's spelled out correctly now if I wanted to well I'm just gonna let it roll like I'm not gonna try anything different I'm just gonna let it roll like it is we'll try the variables now we're gonna do our Chrome location Application location. It is critical that we find the location of Chrome so that the macro opens the correct application. So, with that statement, I've I don't change the location of Chrome that often on a PC. I pretty much install it where it installs itself. I let it by default. And by default, it should be in your x86 program files. Google Chrome application Chrome.exe. All right, now we're going to use a for loop within this program to get through all the URLs in the list. Within the loop, the core of the code is ran. So let's do that. Okay. So I'm going to install our loop and I'm going to end the sub. Okay. So basically it's going to count through each I is going to be the row numbers and it's going to So we're going to start off I equal to 1 the last row and then it's going to execute it's going to put whatever that i value is in the my url to, to, to get the row number so that we can get the my url value and it's going to put that my url value in the shell command which we'll be talking about here is the shell command we're going to run a shell command that is basically a VBA shell function runs a command in the operating system shell. So its bit purpose here is it's going to open a new window and it's going to open tabs for each link. So with that in mind, I think we're almost ready to execute this code. So I want to save my work and. I think the safe way to execute this code is we're going to do it in step. So why don't we step through it? And I'm going to step through it by hitting F8 so that we see if there's any errors that I... Okay. Let's see what we have here. Mm -hmm. 
So it, it, it worked. So essentially, I'm going to stop the code here. I'm going to take out the marker. I'm going to add a button. And I'm going to name this button, I'm going to edit the text so that the button says, oh, come on, oh, hold on a second. We're going to say open URLs. And what will happen is when I click that, it's going to run this code really quick and open the URLs. So let's get with it. And it opens these URLs really quick. This live stream recording is not available. Really? Huh. Go figure. Interesting. So I have to update my list of links and everything, but you see that basically works. It does what we need it to do, and it's really cool. So with that in mind, I'm going to save my work. And that's really it. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, um, share the video, hit like. And I'm not going to hold you any further. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and have a great day.